Greetings and salutations, fellow Transformers addicts. I'm TFA1024 coming at you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at Wave 1 Transformers Combiner Wars Generations Deluxe Class Alpha Bravo. Now, we don't really know who Alpha Bravo is. He is actually featured in one of the Combiner Wars comics. But other than that, we just know he's a newbie aerial bot or, and also a new Autobot. Now, right off the bat, when I assumed Alpha Bravo. Uh, when I heard the name Alpha Bravo, I assumed that he was going to do, be a new aerial bot. However, uh, his head resembles Slingshot a little bit, with a, but with a, a faceplate, which is very interesting. And I like how that Hasbro decided to make a new aerial bot. And I think that's really cool. Um, I was also very astonished to see how that they made Power Glide an aerial bot. And if you haven't seen that video review, that's in my... That's also in my uh, video library with uploads and everything. Um, but let's get straight into it. As you can see, he is a rescue slash attack chopper uh, loaded with missiles on his forearms. About one, two, three. I want to say three missiles. Yeah, three missiles. That's on both forearms. He comes with weapons. He comes with the obligatory hand foot gun for the combiner. And he comes with a very neat looking... Um, machine gun sort of weapon, because you can see the ammo belt right there, which is really neat. And we'll take a closer look at those, um, but as you can see, there's weapon storage. The hand foot can store on the bottom, or it can store in one of these pegs, but it'll look kind of... Actually, I don't think it will, because it's too too broad, but it won't uh, really stay all that well. Uh, but taking a look at the gun, you can see it's very nicely detailed. You see the ammo belt, you can see the... Um, the nozzle of the gun picked out and some nice molding plastic. A very structured like gun. Let me see if I can get a good look at that. Um I'm on camera focus. Yeah, I don't think it wants to focus. I don't know exactly. I'm trying to get it to focus there we go. So as you can see it's very nicely picked out in some really nice etched and molded plastic. Uh, very cool looking, uh, very suitable for a helicopter aerial bot, which is really cool. Now looking back at Alpha Bravo, um, again, the storage right there, peg that right there. And there is something really neat I want to share about this, and this also works with blades as well, but I will save that for another video review, because that's that video review is going to show one of the other newbies, and I'm not going to say who, but... He is another newbie. So, let's take a good look at him. So here is Alpha Bravo. And let's get some size comparisons. Here he is with another wave mate. This is him with Skydive. I gotta say, it works. He's a little bit taller because of the fin. But it works. Or longer, rather, I should say. Uh, there, so there he is with Skydive. There he is with his other wave mate. There he is with drag strip. And again, not too bad. Again, he's a little bit longer just because of that fin piece. And yeah, just for the heck of it, here he is with. Motormaster. And that's not too bad. That's pretty good. So. But yeah, looking at uh, Alpha Bravo, I think he looks good. I think he came out really nice. It's nice to have a new aerial bot because I didn't even know we were going to get a new aerial bot, so that was interesting. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, that's pretty much it for his vehicle mode. So let's get him transformed into robot mode, shall we? Let's. So, what you want to do here is come out, take this nose piece, split it in half. It's on a ball joint. Uh, you can flip this piece up, but I think it was easier just to flip out these pieces first. And you want to do take these two pieces, and there's a port right there that will support that peg. Go peg into place. Give it a soft little snap or clip. I'm not sure how this is coming off on camera. There we go. So there's that. Again, I'm not going to show the limb mode, but, you know. Take a look at... 
trying to get them all captured on my camera. Back them up a little bit. Okay. Uh, next thing you want to do is take these propeller pieces and just kind of fold them up like so for now. Get things out of the way. Flip him around like this. Unpeg the arms. They just peg into those two pegs right there. They're ports on his arms. Um, kind of be careful here because you got to lift that up. Or actually, I think you could do it from the other side. Yeah, there you go. So undo that. Come up here, unpeg these from the top, like so. And it's going to be the same exact thing with all the aerial bots. Um, even off-road has this mechanism, which is really neat. So do that. Make sure it's all straight. Plug it into place and redo, uh, redo those pieces as well. Take the whole torso, rotate it, or take the waist section, rotate it around, like so. Undo the legs. Undo the legs. Ugh. That's going to scare me one day. It scared me now whenever I was trying to mess with it. Um, and you can just take this, leave it like that for now, and then come back here to the fin, or to the tail section. Actually, undo that. And then there are two ports on the inside that will peg right there. Take this section... Kind of tuck it underneath. You can really kind of angle it to where it's not too flippy. And then take the head, rotate it around on a ball joint. Make sure everything is all nicely lined up. Because for some reason, his waists, his waists, his hips want to keep moving on mine for some apparent reason. And you gotta stay, camera. You're gonna stay. You're gonna stay. Okay. And there's Alpha Bravo in his robot mode. I gotta say, it's a really nice robot mode. Um, very, like I said, very reminiscent to uh, Slingshot, which is really cool. Uh, the head, especially, it looks like Slingshot, but they kind of took a different approach on it. Uh, let's get a look at that head sculpt. That's a very nice head sculpt. I like the the faceplate with a nice blue vibrant bra uh, visor with the kind of grayish helmet. It's not white, it's gray. But, um, yeah, they did a really nice job on him. I think he came out really well. And I happen to really enjoy Alpha Bravo. I think he was a really cool figure uh, whenever he came out. And I still think he's a very cool figure. Uh, for some reason, the hip pieces on mine just really like to move. So I might have to take some floor polish and kind of tighten that up just because it does not like to stay with me. He does stand pretty well. He, he's kind of wiggly. But other than that, he's not a bad figure. I really like him. Um, he can hold his weapons, such as the obligatory giant hand foot gun. You can just rotate that thumb up, plug it into his hand, and he has a giant machine gun like he did in helicopter mode. And that works. That works fairly well. And then of course with this other gun you can hold it. Like so. And you can have him ready to take out some Decepticons in a very awesome manner. Like so. Now he does come with art I mean he does have articulation. He does come with articulation. <laughs> He has articulation, his head is on a ball joint, it can up, look up, it can look left, it can look right. Um, his arms are on a universal, oh no, they're on a ball joint. Uh, they can go 360 degrees with no limitation, they can go in and out. His arms come on a swivel joint, as well as a nice soft ratcheted bend. His waist, or his waist articulation... That's more for the limb mode, but it comes with waist articulation. Kind of tight on mine for some reason. I don't understand why, but uh, it pegs in pretty securely. It stays there very securely. His legs can move in and out. He has a nice knee bend, very nice 90 degree knee bend. And if you want, he can wiggle his toe. And that also gives some nice articulation as well.
but yeah. He's a very cool figure, I really dig him. He's a awesome addition to your collection, as well as a new addition to the aerial bots. Um, but let's do this quickly, because I don't know how much longer I have to record this, because my iPad, once again, is being stupid, if you guys have seen my previous video. Um, so, let's do some size comparison. So here he is with Fireflight. Still refuse to call him Firefly, I'm calling him Fireflight, end of discussion. Not bad. Here he is with his aerial bot leader, Silverbolt. And look, you can see me. Hi! There he is with Silverbolt. Uh, here he is with. For the final comparison, anyway. Well, maybe not. I might do another comparison. Just, just for the heck of it. Because why not? There he is with, of course, the Enforcer of the Tyrist Accord, Ultra Magnus. And, again, just for the heck of it, and if it's willing to stand, I suppose I will tease you guys with a little bit of a combiner. So, brace yourselves, because here he is with, if he wants to stand, here he is with Defensor. And that's a really good scale. If I had Windblade, I'll probably use a size comparison for her with Defensor. But, yeah. So, let's get Defensor out of here. And let's just have Alpha Bravo. So, the main question do I recommend this figure? Yes, if you already have him. Good for you! You made an awesome addition to your collection as well as a new addition to the Aerial Bots. If you do not have this figure, I would strongly recommend him. I think he's really nice. Uh, I like the colors, I like his alt mode, I like his robot mode, and I like the possibilities of posing this guy, as well as him being an option for your Superion figure, uh, whenever he's complete. So, yeah, he, again, this guy's roughly going around regular retail price for $15.99. Uh, you'd be lucky if you can find them on eBay or Amazon cheaper, but other than that, that guys, that's pretty much it for this video review. So, I want to thank you all for tuning in. This has been TFA1024. If you happen to like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more of my awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you thought about the video down in the comments section down below. And please follow me on Facebook, TFA1024, the Transformers Addict, for all my recent activity, as well as upcoming projects. And until next time, guys, remember, I recommend, so you can decide. This is TFA1024, signing out. Alpha Bravo, take us away. Peace.